Well, let's get uh, a short take on this final topic. The Denver Police Union conducted a survey which about half of their members responded to this week. The result was an overwhelming vote of no confidence in Chief Robert White. City Council President Albus Brooks and Mayor Michael Hancock were quick to defend the chief and his reforms. Penn, uh, the, the headline is tricky. If this says the police union uh, historic vote and they've never done in 100 years, the vote of no confidence against the, the chief. But there's more to it, right? A, a lot more to it. And, and I, I think the police union um, went down a dangerous path in doing this in the first instance. Um, number one, only a third of their membership participated. Um, and so, but th those who did, voted no confidence against the chief, but two-thirds of the people didn't even bother to participate. Number two, and I think what's more problematic for the union longer term is you can, you can begin to see the separation potentially along racial lines, um, which unions and labor has had a difficult time with um, in recent history. And, and that's beginning to surface, I think, in terms of the, the, the dissatisfaction of the union and its leadership and the chief and some of the rank and file members. Because if you talk to some of the rank and file members, they will sort of insinuate that there's a certain cabal that runs the union and they don't like the chief, but a lot of other rank and file members f are fine and they actually thought we needed to have a our stuff cleaned up a little bit here. Mm. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out over time. Ramsey, an overreach by the union? Um, I don't know if it's an overreach per se. I think this might be sort of trying to use an issue that um, the police chief has to score some points. Um, I mean, the, the case that this is based off of, in part, is the handling of um, a, a letter from former District Attorney Mitch Morrissey slamming uh, Deputy Chief Matt Murray for his uh, sort of involvement in a sexual assault case that involved a Denver police officer. So on the surface, you could make the argument that the union is just really upset that um, their administration is not being held to the same standard that any of their officers, their members would be. But at the same time, this is a way also to try and score political points and fight some of the um, changes and cultural changes that um, the chief has been trying to um, uh, make since he uh, joined several years ago. Um, it will be, I mean, there's, it's kind of hard to walk back from the union saying we have no confidence in our boss right now, but it'll be interesting how this plays out. I, I think this isn't the only time that the union is going to be making noise and using these type of incidents to try and score political points. Patty, uh, just a, a first shot over the bow we're going to see from the union. Oh, we're going to be pl hearing plenty more. There's a new class of police officers just being sworn in now, you know, because after the budget was was renewed, you got more cadets coming in because we'd lost a lot of police officers for a while. So you can see it's going to be a time, there's going to be a lot of jockeying for position. You know, I don't think there's a more gossipy group uh, than, well, I wouldn't say the news reporters until you come to policemen. Though police officers are forever calling up and yet ratting each other out, but never really doing, saying anything you can use. And there really is a lot of concern over this whole Matt Murray incident. People are still questioning that, but I think Robert, Robert White will survive this. But we're going to see a lot more fighting. Dave, wrap it up for us. You know, it's hard to tell about a workplace culture if, if you don't work there and, you know, from the outside with just a few spokesmen, you, you don't really know what, what the truth is. But certainly there was, there was something that had to be done with the Denver Police Department, you know, I think vast majority of really good officers, but there was a, a low-end class that was involved in a lot of unjustifiable violence and brutality, uh, some of which led to the city having to make large payouts.